Hi. Um, so, this is my next video for a language of a woman. Uh, my first one, my first one was um, keeping it 100 and staying in your lane. And my second one was, um, you feel me. So, well, I feel you. And so this new one I'm doing is going to be called, um, don't leave your lady behind. Okay. Um, I know, man, you think you're being preached to, but I'm just trying to tell you, these are things that's important to a woman and, um, it's going to help you teach you. Cause I don't know if your mother ever taught you. And there's so many men being raised in a single parent home that you haven't learned these things. These things, some things have been taught to me as a female from my male uncle. Now, um, one of the things he taught me as a female, when I was walking with him, we used to walk down the road sometime. You know, I'm from Michigan, like I said. And um, he would, if I, we would walk together and it just so happened we would turn a corner or whatever. I could never walk on the outside by the road. And this is something I taught my son and my daughter as well. My uncle always said that a man should always be on the outside so to, by the road to protect a woman. And not saying that someone's going to do something to her, but just in case something's going to happen, he needs to be the stronger one out to the, to the road, the way he can protect her from any, any undue dangers. Now, men aren't taught that. You see women and men walking down the road all the time, young girls and guys walking down the road, and um, he just walking along with her on the side of the road. Now, if the car jumped the curb, I guess he really don't care if she dies first, but he should be able to pull her, he should be able to push her out the way. That's what you do when you are a man. You don't think about your safety, you think about the woman's safety. So. That was something that my uncle always told me as far as a man should always be on the outside towards the road if he's walking with a woman. He should always do that. Also, women. Okay, this, this is about leaving your, don't leave your lady behind. This is something that also young ladies and males need to know. If you are, okay, let me go back. The reason why I had this title is don't leave your lady behind because... You know, when a person's in a relationship with a woman or a man is in a relationship with a woman or whatever, in the beginning, when you're walking into a restaurant, you're walking into the store, you grab her hand, you're always holding her hand, you're always, you know, making sure you keep her close to you. As your relationship progresses, you tend to jump out the car and leave her behind. You don't even make sure she's getting out the car too or make sure she had a purse or anything. You just jump out and keep walking. That's shameful. Now, I understand you progressed in the relationship, but come on. You know, you still got to be that same gentleman you were at first. Don't stop being the man that you were to her in the beginning. Um, you get into an argument with her. Um, this is something that I went through with my own spouse. And, um, and I consistently had, I had to teach him. I had to teach him. So, he already knew. Um, it, was, it was, you know, Tracy, Tracy Chapman's song, Give Me One Reason to Steer, and I'll Turn Right Back Around. That was this chick right here. You don't get out the vehicle... And then walk away telling me, come on, or keep walking or whatever, and leave me at the vehicle. Because I will turn right back around, go back to the vehicle, and leave you, let you go in by yourself. Or if I have the keys, guess what? I'm leaving. Yes, I am. I'm not going to be disrespected. If you're going into an establishment with me, whether you're mad at me or not, you're going to walk by my side. Okay, you may not want to hold my hand, but darn it, you're going to walk in with me, not me trailing behind you two, three, four steps. Not doing that. That's disrespectful. You need to make sure that even if you're mad at her, you need to show respect. 
And I don't know if your mothers have taught you this or your fathers have taught you this, but you still need to show the respect even when you're upset with her. Now, you need to grab her arm if you're not really, really mad at her and she don't want you to touch her, fine. You just walk in with her and give her time to calm down because most women, even when they're upset with you, you give them a few minutes to calm down. They'll come on up out of it, you know, and move on. Now, if you are, you know, had a really bad fight, you shouldn't be going to that establishment anyway if you haven't had a really bad fight. Unless it's something that's really, really, really important, go back home. Because it's not going to be a good evening for you, bro. Not. She's going to make your life miserable while you're there. She's going to cut her eyes at you consistently. She is going to stare at you. She is going to make nasty, snide comments your way. Know when to go home. That's not your time to stay. Go home. Go home. And resolve that issue. Because you're not going to have a good day. Don't leave your lady behind. If you were all lovey-dovey with her and then you get upset with her and you're leaving her behind, come on, you better come on. I've never seen that too many times where guys are walking and leaving their girl. Even when she had the kids, he'd be walking ahead of her. Grab one of them kids' hands. She'll help her out. You know, man, you got to have to do better. you got to help her out. Don't leave her behind. You are you are happy with her, even if you're happy with her. Ladies. This is just a message to ladies in case you're watching this video. If you're going into an establishment with your, with a man, whether he's your boyfriend or just somebody you're dating, I as a woman, even if he's not my boyfriend, and this is something I always pride myself on. Um if I'm going to establish with a man and we're out on a so called date or we're you know doing whatever, having dinner or drinks. Well, you first meet someone, you always do like the normal. You give them a hug, you know, a kiss on the cheek or whatever. Typically just a hug. You don't have to kiss on the cheek. But when you're leaving the establishment, you should also be with that person. If you're going to the establishment together, you know, you meet them there, the hug comes in. If you're going to the establishment together, you should grab the man by the arm. This reassures him if you're interested. This reassures him that, okay, she's interested in me. She's trying to ensure that other men know she's with me. This also makes him feel secure. When you grab his arm, he feels more secure and more pride because he feels like he has a lady on his arm and not some hood rat. Now, I'm not, this is nothing against a hood rat, but if you want to be a lady, and you need to grab that man's arm, even if you're going into the club. And I'm talking about going down to the club downtown, and y'all going to go shake it up. Guess what? You can still grab his arm, because that only does that. Let other men know that he that you're with him. That lets other women know that he's with you. You see? It works both ways. They see you coming in arm in arm. They're going to automatically say, that's a couple. Whether you're really dating on a serious tip or not, it doesn't matter. This perception is what's being seen. And so that will keep other men off you. Because if you walk in ahead of him or he walks in ahead of you and leaves the woman behind, if you leave your woman behind, men are going to think, well, she must not be with them. And then they're going to try to hit on your girl or the female you're with. You need to make sure you secure that. If you really like her, to secure her. Take her by the hand, put her arm around your arm. Put, go arm in arm. Treat her like a lady. Don't leave her behind. Walk with her. Talk with her. Guess what? It'll be a much better evening for you and her. A lot of times when people walk arm in arm, they have conversations. And so, and it's actually much more intimate conversations when they're walking arm in arm together. Rather than them two walking out together, walking side by side. When a woman grabs your arm, she's becoming that's an intimate connection with you. You may not, you may think it's intimate like sex, but intimacy is something different. Intimacy to a woman that's not involved sex. It involves connection. It involves you being in tune with me, and that's how she. That's how most women 
feel when they first meet a man. They don't connect with them sexually. They just they connect with them emotionally first. So, men, don't leave your girl behind. You wait for her. You waited for her before. You wait for her now, even when you mad at her. You get on my nerves. Okay, she may get on your nerves. Sometimes we do. Sometimes you get on our nerves. But don't let that keep you or make you walk into an establishment being disrespectful and leaving your girl standing at the curb or standing in the car or walking into an establishment without you. Have some respect. Go into the establishment with her. Now, it'll be better for you. Trust me. Because even if she's mad at you, if you do that, it'll calm her down a little bit. Trust me. It works. Um... This is my don't leave girl, don't leave your lady behind. And like I said, I, I had to train my husband on this on several occasions. I would just stop walking also. I just want to tell you, put that in this note. I would just stop walking. He would walk ahead of me. I would just stop walking, just stand there and wait. He would turn back around and come and say, what's the matter? Why you stop? What's wrong? I said, well, are we not going into this establishment together? Are we not going here together? And he would look at me and be like, yeah, so what's the matter? I said, well, you're walking ahead of me. And I would tell him, you're walking ahead of me, and you should be walking with me. You're, you're leaving me, so I, I'm not going to go any farther. Um, if you're going to go in here with me, you're going to go in here with me. Or I'm just going back to the car. And so he would look all puzzled and upset, but guess what? He would make sure his butt walked slower and waited on me to come. And waited on me to walk with him. He, he stood there. He walked with me side by side. He knew darn well I was not going to that establishment. Walking three, four steps behind him. I was not doing that. I don't give a dang how mad you are at me. You're not going to disrespect me. And so this is what I'm saying. Always keep in mind, even if you're mad at her. Just stand by the car and wait for her to get out. And when she gets out, you don't want to hold arm in arm. Walk with her anyway. Walk with her anyway. She may be mad at you, but if you she's not really pissed off at you, grab her by the arm and put her arm in your arm. It'll break all the ice, I'm telling you guys. You guys going to learn. I'm going to help you get through this. Right, I really am. And, and some of you young men who don't know any better, listen to what I'm saying. This going to help you because I don't... You guys aren't being trained properly. And so... And it's hard sometimes even being trained. Your mother's telling you, you don't listen. And so you don't know how to act right. And you watch, you learn how to be men from TV and what you see on TV. That stuff is not real. And don't walk, don't, don't do like they do. Think about how your grandfather acted or how someone positive would act. You know, if you don't know, look it up. Um, so... Not to jump on anybody about that. This is not your fault. But this is a woman telling you. Um, don't leave your girl behind. Alright. That's video number four. Alright. I got several more to go. Don't leave her behind. Wait for her. Wait for her.